Hi guys, Patrick Gaming right here right now bringing you another coaching session today with Michael. Hello Michael, welcome. Hello. Uh, what rank are you by the way? So I just uh, hit master. Nice, and nice, okay. That That's also the reason uh, why I wanted to get some coaching because I want to stay master or improve even further. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. So you feel like you're plateauing or... Yeah, yeah. I think it was already hard for me to get master, and I'm right now I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's if I'm actually master or if I just uh, got lucky at the last few games. Okay, okay. <laughs> because uh, last season I was uh, plateauing in diamond four or plat one, so okay, I'm nice. not sure. Maybe you're <laughs> you've learned how to play better. Maybe the the chosen mechanic is working in your favor. Could be lots of yeah, factors. Yeah, actually tried uh, to play more flexible and i think it uh, after some time it, it worked out pretty good but there's still after this world there's uh, you will see there's still a lot of places i can improve okay uh you start with a cloak uh, i presume that's not what you want right uh, i actually start most of the games with a cloak okay because uh, it's it's a little bit of a psychological thing. It's uh, I'm never frustrated that I can't get the cloak. <laughs> okay, uh, just talk me through your thought process. Why you want a cloak? So um, I think uh, most other items are pretty contested, and I go with the cloak because the cloak's always all almost always like never contested, and it's just like oh I can get the cloak. It, it, don't have to compete with anything. Um, uh, my, my, my mindset is still positive. If if I can't get the cloak and it's uh, it's not negative if I can't get the bow or the sword, for example. I mean, if you can't get the cloak, then I, I don't know what you can get that's worse than cloak. So uh, it just um, like so the reason like uh, ideally you want you're you're here to get coaching to get better at the game, right? So you should yeah, yeah. you should try to grab the best item, and know that you always get the cloak anyway. Like if you yeah. go for for a sword, it's very likely you're still gonna get your your cloak if yeah. you don't get the sword. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I mean, like unless there's some some something I don't see, like you like starting cloak because you always force uh, Warwick or Zed, and it gives you a QSS and a Runans. That's why you start cloak. For example, but I guess that's yeah, not the it, case. No, 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 no. It's not the case. But I also, uh, I personally think that cloaks are quite versatile item um, uh, because you because you can build Hydra and you can build Chalice, and I think Chalice is like good in every comp. A Chalice is fine. Sorry, what, what's what's Hydra? Uh, it's t t Titanic Hydra, isn't it? The the item that. Uh, fires the the, the the second bolt. Oh, Runans. Okay, Runans. Yes, yes. Oh, it's Runans. Sorry, I think uh, Hydra is the Summoner's Rift one. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. I, I don't really play much of League of Legends. So, okay, so it gives you Runans. Uh, I mean, yeah. Chalice is fine. Ionic Spark is, I guess, okay. Runans is okay. But then the other items. Okay, I mean, if it's like fighting a bit of an uphill battle, but okay. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So you would say I should go for another item, but what what item um, should I go for? Like uh, a tier or the jeweled gaunt? Uh, the uh, what's it called? The gauntlet? <coughs> or... So, so my my tier list is sword, chain, tier, glove, in that order. Okay. Because with, with the sword, Zeke's herald is like the best item for almost any composition it's really powerful right yeah. it's kind of like chalice uh it's really good for zed it's really good for athelios it's really good for sharpshooters it's just a great item right yeah uh and if you get two swords you can make a death blade which is completely op on sharpshooters or hunters as well like if you get any sharpshooter or hunter combo early yeah so i think and like um Giants there is not good early, but it's good later if you get more swords. Um, what is it? IE. Infinity Edge is really good. So I think sword is like really, really good. Okay. And the chain, yeah. because just like Zeke's is super strong, uh, so is uh, Sunfire Cape. Sun, Sunfire, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. And the tier, obviously, tier for Chalice or for blue buff. Yeah. And then or Glove. Hodge. Glove is kind of like flex. Yeah, Glove is for Hodge. Glove is for flex. But like, I think the best is, is Sword or Chain are, right now in my mind, are kind of similar. And then tier is really good as well. So those okay. like like number one item, Sword or, or Armor. They're both relatively fine. And then tier would be the backup item. And then okay. honestly, like after that, yeah, you can go for bow, you can go for cloak, rod, whatever, whatever is left. Okay. But it's like uh, maybe, maybe like uh, if you want, I can show you my hotkeys. That's something like I don't know if you have set, if you have hotkey set up. I almost always win the carousel, even though I'm old. I can still win carousels because I have my hotkey set up. So <laughs> for like uh, for what? <laughs> so like you have right click on your mouse. You yeah. can set up another hotkey for right click. Okay. I don't know how much how much League of Legends you play. Uh, do you play a lot of League of Legends? Yeah, I, I played a lot of. But, but you, right you don't like I'm... on this account because like, I have my my like client optimized for TFT, so like yeah, you can't really play League with these settings. Like you have to turn it off if you play League. But there's ah uh, okay. There's like a thing as movement prediction, so you can turn on movement prediction, which is terrible for League. But it's perfect for, for TFT. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, like, these little things give me a tiny bit of an edge. So, even though I'm, I'm older than, than most of the players, I'm over 30, I'm still putting in way more inputs. Like, I'm, I'm clicking on my mouse and on the keyboard and just, like, a lot of clicking. So, I'm very likely to actually get what I want. I think today... Oh, that's interesting. I think today I got... Five out of six swords, or five out of four out of five swords, something like that, on the carousel. Yeah. So yeah, that's just yeah a prelude. You have to take a look at that. <laughs> so that's something you you can set up. Okay. So let's see what what you do. It's gonna be a little a little annoying. I'm gonna be telling you start stop start stop. I hope you're cool with that. Uh, yeah, 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 it's perfectly fine. I, as yeah. I said, I tried to upload it because because of that reason, so you can do it yourself, but uh, it didn't work. So let's just uh, do it like that. But yeah. it's perfectly fine. Just just tell me when you want to uh, when you want to stop. Yeah, no I guess you, we'll see. We'll see what what you do here if you make a mistake or not. So <laughs> oh, I'm sure I make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no questioning that. <laughs> I mean, you can talk me through it, right? You want you want the Wukong pair and you want Nidalee, right? Uh, exactly. And I also yep. bought uh, the Teemo. Okay, so the... mistake is not putting in the Nidli. Yeah, I, I I just put the two Wukongs in. No, 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 but you should have bought the Nidli and put her in. And you didn't buy the ah, Nidli okay. at all. Why are you not buying yeah, the Nidli? I, yeah, I, I'm going to. <laughs> so why is that a mistake? That's a good question. I, I wouldn't know the answer. She's a warlord. She gains warlord stacks from creep rounds. Ah, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. That's why Great. you should always put your warlords in. Like, if you're going to play them, you just put them in as, in as many rounds as you can. Okay. Yeah. So, th theoretically, she would have uh, two stacks, two warlord stacks in the end of that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Okay. It's just a minor thing. I think it's 20 HP and like 2 AP, something like that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's like, why not? Why don't I have 20 extra HP and 2 extra ability power or spell power or whatever? Yeah. But it, uh, if, if I put Warlord in then, if I actually have the trade, then it would be for all champions, wouldn't it? No, no, no. no. It's individual. Ah, oh, it's individual. Okay. It's I also each, didn't know that. It's each, okay. Wow. Wow. And you're a master. Great. <laughs> it's, okay, so Warlord Synergy, okay, the way it works is if you have three Warlords, or like one Chosen plus one Warlord, uh, each individual unit has its own stacks. Okay. And each individual unit needs to win five rounds of combat to be at max stacks. Ah, uh, okay. So that's why you want to put in your Warlords as soon as possible, so when you activate the trait, like if you get a Chosen Garen now, Nidalee would already have one stack, while Garen would have zero. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. That, great, great. Already a lot of nice information. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
So I get you. You're you're pushing. Okay. Uh, that's so, bad again. That's, that's now I'm like I I don't know what what's the best play here. Um, that's why I'm switching like units around. And I as I was recording, I was like uh, pretty aware <laughs> of of the recording. And I was, <laughs> okay. I, I was already starting to questioning my own decisions. Um, <laughs> So, okay, another minor, minor thing, but you are pushing for a Grandmaster Challenger, right? So, you want to frontline everything and you want as much damage as possible because the faster you kill the creeps, the more time you have to make decisions. Yeah. So, you never want to be the last one to kill the creeps because you have like one second to sell your bench and figure out what the hell you're doing. Yeah. So, that's just like a, a thing. You always want to have as much damage as possible on creep rounds. So it's definitely like yeah. Nidalee and Timo, maybe two Nidalees in the front row. Like everything, okay. like where Wukong is, everything in the front. So they get mana, they kill stuff. And the bonus is like, okay, you kill units, maybe you get gold. Maybe you want a pre-level, maybe you don't want a pre-level. Maybe you get a unit, which you need to think about if you sell or you don't sell. And yeah, so like, just get, you get more time. And time is a, is a great resource. Yeah, okay. So let's see. I actually yeah. can't remember what I've. Well, done Timo's gonna there. get pulled in. Yeah. Okay. So what's the play here? Okay, the play here, by the way, was to sell Irelia and sell Tom Kench on pre-level. Okay, then you're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> no, you didn't do it. No, I meant last last round. Pre-level. Yeah. You because should... I didn't get a chosen, and I would have the chance for a two a tier two chosen. Yeah, but I meant you should have done it last round. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, you could but, have. But I'm, yeah. I'm actually going to keep the Irelia. So. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what what you do here. You can sell the Tom Kench and put in Italy. That would work as well. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, think, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, that that's that's fine. And uh, I'm uh, slamming Chalice. There. Of course. Um, yeah. And there, there, I was wondering whether oh, to God. put the Chalice on the Timo or the Aurelia. Uh, Timo, hundred percent, because you want Timo to cast sooner. But um, yeah. I, you need to know this shit, like. You should not spend this time, this much time looking at your board and not doing shit. Like, yeah. You need to scout the lobby. You should scout the lobby and figure out if you should be on the left or on the right, for example. Yeah. Because if they have units on the left, like left side, they will start attacking Nidalee. Right? Yeah. So you want your units to be on the, on the side where there aren't any units, so that Irelia gets hit first. Okay. So... Um... If the enemy has units, can you see my mouse? Yeah, yeah I, I do. I do. Okay. If the enemy, if the enemies have units over there, then I should uh, put the Aurelia there and the other units. Exactly. There. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, and another thing, yeah, as I mentioned, you should have uh, leveled up and put in uh, Wukong as well for divine. And like more uh, importantly, yes. more importantly, uh, a two cost chosen. Because you're guaranteed a chosen yeah. next round. You're guaranteed a chosen. Yeah. And even 40% at a two cost chosen, I would do it every time. Yeah, okay. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not often pre leveling. That's, uh, but I, I already read a lot about like, that it's the, the thing you should do in yeah. <laughs> this meta. Uh, one other thing you can think about I mean, Chalice is probably okay. Uh, one other thing to think about is not slamming items until you see you're chosen. That's also an option. Mm, but on the other hand, the other, the only other option would be declaw. I could slam it. Or, or if I yeah, it could um, be declaw. That's what I'm saying. It, it could be declaw. Like chalice is probably the best. Like here, ninety five percent of the time, I'm not gonna lie, mm -hmm. chalice is good. But it's just uh, something to think about. Yeah. Yeah, just like, 
because maybe you get a you get some frontline chosen and like uh tom kench of d-claw can't die for example <laughs> yeah. like chosen tom kench of d-claw just cannot die this early because physical damage he ignores physical damage and if he ignores spell damage as well so he just doesn't die yeah yeah that's right yeah okay What do you think about uh, his uh, his placement, his placing? Um, it's actually kind of fine because this way, his Teemo won't get... Like, your Teemo will not target both of his units. While his Teemo will target your Teemo and Italy at the same time. Yeah. So it's actually better against blinds. It's terrible against any sort of assassins. Okay. Yeah. And he should, yeah, he could, he could have made a Thieves' Gloves. He should have made a Thieves' Gloves as well. Uh, here, it's always, it's always Viper. Viper, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I think I'm going to buy the pair. Okay, good. But I think I'm going to sell it later again. <laughs> uh, if you don't hit, it's fine. But, like, right now, if you hit, it's... Yes. Elderwood, interesting. Oh, shit. Okay, insta-buy. Okay, that... Okay. <laughs> wow. I, I would have thought about that a little bit longer. I mean, I think it's correct, but yeah, I, that insta-buy was pretty cool. Um, okay, so you just oh. won. You just you just won. You're relatively strong. I would ditch the Irelia and put in a Vi. Mm. Yeah, I was wondering whether I should keep the sharpshooters. Oh, um, you want to go to 10. Okay. You can get the 10. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm waiting if uh, if I'm winning or not, and I'm. I'm you're winning. You're one hundred percent winning this. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, I was thinking to say. I think I'm selling them. Okay, this. that's just a big mistake. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. I should have sold the Aurelia. What the fuck is the Aurelia gonna do for you, man? Okay. So that's that's like uh, a teachable moment. You can pause it now. Uh, and look at that, Vice. Look at that, wonderful. So <laughs> they're back again. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you want on stage two? What sort of like units do you want on stage two? Um, tier two one costs. I would say. Yes, exactly. Upgraded one costs. Potentially upgraded two costs. Yeah. But it's never a three cost. Like, you cannot sell the Nidalee pair. You had a Wukong pair and Nidalee pair. You never sell that shit. Yeah. Right? Because if you have, like, Wukong 2, way better than Irelia. Nidalee 2, way better than Irelia. Like, yes, Irelia is better than Wukong, but Wukong costs one gold. Like, three cost Wukong is so much better than three cost Irelia. Okay. Right? So always prioritize... Pairs of one costs. Potentially okay. pairs of two costs. Because, yeah. like, in, in some of my games, in some of my games, it's, it's kind of crazy, like, how I get very far with without losing too much HP. It's just because I have random two-star units. Like, I have two vanguards, two brawlers, and two sharpshooters. And they're all upgraded. And I'm demolishing everyone. Because I have, yeah. like, four or five upgraded units. And decent synergies. Yeah. And, the, I, like, the Irelia does absolutely nothing for you. Like, she doesn't even yeah. give you synergy. Like, there's no, obviously, no Adept, no Divine, no um, Enlightened. Yes. So, but if I, for example, had, like, uh, um, a Kindred, would I, would I have kept the Kindred? Kindred, yes. Kindred is a different beast. Kindred is, uh, like, hard carry on her own. Yeah. But Irelia doesn't do much. By the way, Vi is better than Irelia here. Yeah, because of the Brawler. Because, yeah... Maokai gets another 400 HP. Vi gets a lot of HP. Yeah. I think... Um, let's see what I'm doing here. Because I think I think about putting in the Vi, but I think I don't put it in in the end. <laughs> uh, by the way, you can also level up and put in put in something. You have way too much gold. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty like uh, conservative about leveling up. I'm most of the time very greedy. 
and uh, prioritizing eco, but maybe that's like... Uh... Um, you should be... Okay, if you're losing, I will always get to five loss and I will always make 50 gold by, by Krugs or almost always, like Krugs 40, 50 gold. Yeah. If I'm winning, I'm going to level like a madman and keep winning. So there's like yeah. two options. You're either winning or you're losing, but like right now you're winning, but holy shit, that's a two-star Kenny. Okay, you're now you're losing. Yeah, huh. uh, this guy was like... Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, he had you the, almost... No, no, no. I mean, you almost beat the two-star Kenny. I'm just surprised how, how well the fight's going. Okay, maybe it's the Aurelia. <laughs> no, it's, it's a Timo, actually. It's yeah. a Ma Maokai and Timo. Oh, wow. And the Nidli. The Chalice is really good. The Chalice is super powerful. Yes. All right. So now it's fine that you didn't didn't level up. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm actually, uh, I think I'm right now trying to maintain the, the loose streak. So what do you want here? Um, what? That is a good question. I'm always like struggling with items if I like have... The thing is, um, right now, I, I don't know where this game could be going, and I have a cloak sitting around, so I'm pretty unsure about what to take here. It's Chalice 100% of the time, if you can. Yeah, I am uh, I think I'm taking the, uh, the yeah. tier and actually going to, going to take the Chalice. So you should already be... Okay, you're already trying to head out. Good, good, good. Wow, these guys are just so chill. Like, I'm very try-hard, like, trying to get out as soon as possible and get my item. <laughs> but, like, these guys are like, oh, whatever, we're just going to wander around. It's uh, a, a diamond one in Masters. <laughs> okay, now Lulu over, over I really would kind of make sense. I hope. There, yeah, there, there again. I was wondering. What um, the fuck is up with Irelia? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just thought she was like a very good unit. Um, she's fine, but you don't drop, you don't drop sharpshooter. I, I think I won't. Okay. Um, but I, I think I uh, won't. Or maybe, maybe I will. <laughs> Holy shit! This like it's so obvious that you want that you okay. No, now you drop Elderwood. Yeah, that's the thing. I should yeah, I should have dropped the Irelia. <laughs> like Irelia's a fine standalone unit, like, but synergies are way 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 more important. Like you could have okay, so you could have won or like lost this against one unit rather than three. Yeah. So you would preserve 6 HP right here. So that's 6 HP you could have preserved. So I'm just going to write that down. 6 HP. So that's 6 HP you could have had. If you played yeah. the Lulu over Irelia. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> so these guys are, some of these guys are pretty strong. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I, uh, I was trying to. Oh God, boo! How can you sell the sharpshooter? <laughs> who is your main? Who is your main damage dealer? The Timo. Exactly. How do you make him stronger? Uh, sharpshooter. <laughs> right? Yeah, it seems pretty obvious right now, but. <laughs> Because look how closely you're losing this. Yeah. But imagine imagine if you just ditched the fucking guy, really. Yeah, that shouldn't be there in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, look how, how you almost... Like, you, you, I'm pretty sure you win that with, with uh, Sharpshooter. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. Let's hope you get rid of that really at some point. <laughs> I hope so too right now. <laughs> So 
So I here I'm just uh, waiting what I'm uh, what I'm getting out of Crux. I mean, since you don't even have anything, you can just go for for double TF and Annie, right? To go like to go since you don't have Timo, like Timo's by himself. Yeah, that's why I would never start a cloak because you just end up getting so many fucking cloaks. Yeah. <laughs> But I think um, this wasn't even the problem in, in the late game. I'm, I'm struggling quite hard, and it, that's okay. why I think this, this one is pretty, pretty good. No, but you already because... fucked yourself early. Uh, so you should have gotten... <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not playing sharpshooters, you should have gotten uh, three mages. Yeah. It's either that or that. Yeah, I already fucked up because I wanted to sell the Vi. And yeah, you should have sold the Vi, obviously. Code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I realized Look at this! That, that this is perfect. This is what we want. <laughs> uh, by the way, you can make Ionic on Maokai, which you hopefully do. Yes. Very nice. And you can sell Irelia and buy, maybe. I think I'm doing that. Or you can buy Hecarim and just keep everything. Yeah. So is, um, uh, is my positioning good there? Is it uh, okay to put Maokai in the front then? And uh, no, the you, want everything, you want everything in the back. I've taught this lesson before as well. Why do you want everything back? Uh, at Elderwood, because Elderwood can stack up. Before exactly. So the long, like, if you delay the fight by just like one second, you're one second closer to your Elderwood stack. Yeah. But uh, but it, what what about like uh, AOE buffs? Because I sometimes have the feeling that if I put all my units in the back. Then sometimes, like I don't know, my units are too close for things like uh, Lux, for example. Okay, like then you need to position. Then you need to position for her. Okay. So that's another like that's another excuse. Like um, this is better. Gener this is generally better. Like yes, it's better yeah. generally, but you got to look at your lobby and figure out is it what I need right now or not. Yeah. So here about the checks. Um, yeah, you need more frontline. Yeah. Uh, I you could have considered the Z actually. Yeah. It's a Z pair, right? Like. Yeah. But is it okay to buy the Z if I have like uh, not even a single bow and like not? I I felt like the items weren't like weren't suited at all for Z. But you you can't play Z for the next few rounds and then just sell him. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying pivot into Zed. I'm saying you play him for the next few rounds if you get two stars Zed. Instead of the checks. Yeah. Okay. Because the Maokai is kind of tanky, right? Yeah. While the Zed actually gets you good backline access. Yeah. I mean, you win this anyway, so that's fine. But yeah, look how much Timo is doing now that you have a sharpshooter. Yeah. I should have kept it. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> so, I leveled here to put in the Warwick. Fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Your positioning is shit, but otherwise it's fine. <laughs> what, what should I change about that? Okay, like, what do you want to happen? What do you want to happen? I... Want the Warwick to attack for a long time and do a lot of damage. <laughs> but you don't want your Warwick to die, right? Yeah. So at least put the Warwick in between Jax and Maokai, for example. Okay. Because this way Maokai is most protected. Yeah. Does right. Maokai need that much protection? Yeah. No. He's like he's there to tank. So. Yeah. Also, you should almost always swap uh, Lulu with with um, Jinx because. You want to protect Jinx more than Lulu. Okay. Because, uh, like, a few rounds, Lulu was the last one last one who survived. But Lulu doesn't do any yeah. damage. Yeah. So you'd rather want Lulu to die sooner than Jinx. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, you should always also try to buy out the shop so you never end with, with more than like 
the last digit should always be zero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I sometimes do that, I sometimes don't. But I should make it a habit. Well, you need to do it more because what do we want here? Another chalice? <laughs> I think I, yeah, I'm taking the Katarina with the... Oh, yeah, glove, glove. The, Obviously, glove. Glove is most flexible, yeah. That, um, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So positioning definitely needs to be better. You can just backline everything, maybe leave the jacks in the front, or like... Just like, what I want to do is like, think about how combat should unfold. Yeah. So I actually put the Warwick there, but I should have put it in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah maybe. No, I, I don't think that Morgana by herself is that powerful. I think this is fine. I think I'm going to keep her. Yeah. At least. I don't think I'm putting her in right now. Yeah, that's fine. But I mean, as I said, like, just put, like, move everything back. Everything can be in the back. Like, there's no harm if you put everything in the back because you have Elderwoods. Okay, so I I should not play because I was thinking: Do I play the Morgana over the Timo? Doesn't the Morgana do like more damage than the Timo if she if she uh, has two chalices? Timo does enough. Look at look at that, and Timo has a lot of utility as well. Don't forget yeah. about the utility. Yeah, that's right. Like if you had Morgana Dazzler, then maybe it's something to consider. Yeah, but also Jinx is really good to go with with the Timo. Yeah. Nice, we're buying out the shop. There you go. So <laughs> now it's something to consider. I, and I think I'm considering it. Let's see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> I mean, here you can level up, put in Lux and uh, Morgana. And okay. you, can just put, you can just put the Chalice on both of them, right? You, you can leave the Teemo in, put in Lux and Morgana. Take out Jax. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, here, everything. here you're so fucking greedy. You want to win this. You should. You can level up here to win this. I would do that like ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah. But do you think uh, I would have won this with uh, with more with more Ghana and looks because he's pretty strong. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Look at this. Like, it's it's relatively close. You can you can go back, just like rewind it a little bit, then we can we can look at this board. Oops. Oh, it's too much. Yeah. Wait. Go. Yeah. So, if you have a well placed Lux, she's gonna hit everything, right? She's gonna hit uh, Elise and TF at least. Yeah, if I put uh, it like uh, the right corner. Uh, if you have Morgana Dazzler, she's going to reduce the damage, which is mostly physical, from... Uh... Okay, can you give me just a second? I uh, have to open the door. Yeah. I will be back. Okay, okay. Just a second. <laughs> What's up, Artagus? Of course I would sacrifice the Lulu. Of course it's always sacrifice Lulu rather than anything else. Lulu is the weakest like Lulu survives extremely long. But like okay, I'm back. Yeah, like what is she surviving for? Um yeah, I was just talking to my chat. So yeah, here like <laughs> if you had if you if you leveled up and took out Jax to put in Morgana and Lux, you either win or it's a much closer loss. Yeah. You you retain you retain divine, you will get uh, you will get uh, dazzler on top of it. By the way, Morgana and Lux would both have the the Chavez buff. Yeah. So they would do pretty crazy damage. So you're not aggressive enough at all. Okay. You yeah, need to be way more aggressive. Yes. Four divine, interesting. Okay. 
So what does four divine do here? It uh, keeps my divine units alive longer. <laughs> but like, for who are you keeping your divine units longer, or like, why are you keeping your divine units longer? That's a good question. I I thought uh, it would be better than uh, because I'm I think I'm going to put the chalices on the Morgana and the Lux. I think it would. I thought it would be better. Okay. And okay. then now here start. I think here starts uh, the, the the biggest problem of mine. Um, I'm I'm selling the Maoka, and I think this was a wrong decision. Because oh, wait. I thought I would. Uh, so you have you have double chalice Morello Morgana, and then you have uh, you can make Jin with with IE, and you have a random Ionic Spark. That's not not looking so bad. So let's see how you how you fuck this up if you do. Because <laughs> right now it's I don't like I don't I have no no idea why you sold both of the Teemos why you had to sell all of that. Like you didn't have to sell the Teemos and Jinx, right? Yeah. Or maybe like maybe you sell one of the Teemos with the Chalice, but you keep the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, yeah, it's uh, I think it's going to go downhill from there. So I, I take the channel because I think uh, uh, tier two channel is like pretty OP. Okay. And uh, Mystic is also uh, pretty good. Yeah, and I'm going to give the chalice to the channel there, actually. And it's definitely yeah. Irelia over Wukong, right? Yeah, I think I'm... Am Please? I going to do this? Maybe, <laughs> I'm not focusing it. Maybe I'm not focusing it enough. So, like, on stage two, you showed me how important Irelia is. And now, on stage four... <coughs> Oh shit, okay. Uh, Zeke's is not a slam here. You cannot make Zeke's. It's too late for Zeke's. Yeah. You should have made... Uh, like, Morgana with, with Mor Morello is is beyond broken. So yeah. here... Okay. So, yeah, you can rewind, rewind like 10, 20 seconds. <laughs> Look at... First of all... <coughs> 20 seconds. So, first of all... Yeah, do it one more time. First of all, why don't you put the double chalice on Morgana? Wait, pause, yeah. Why don't you put double chalice on Morgana? Yeah, because I felt like, oh, Jenna is my chosen. And I think that was the only line of reason. <laughs> okay, whose ultimate does more? Yeah, I mean, it would have been better on Morgana. Yeah. And if you build the Morello, just look at, look at uh, Morgana's ultimate. Yeah. She would have burned yeah. everything. Yes. And yeah, I don't know why you made the Zeke's instead of IE. Because you can make uh, Infinity Edge on, on Jin, and you can put it on Ash afterwards. Yes. Yeah. That would have been better. And I hope we're buying the Irelia at some point, right? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Because it's like another close fight that you, you, you should have won. Like you almost, yeah, you definitely would have won that. You def and if you, oh, you didn't even slam the, uh. So the main issue is, you have a jeweled gauntlet, right? Yes. So what the fuck do you do with jeweled gauntlet? You don't want a jeweled gauntlet. You want you would you would have wanted Morello. Okay, now you want a jeweled yeah. gauntlet. Now jeweled yeah. gauntlet. Now jeweled gauntlet is, is amazing. But earlier you wanted <laughs> you wanted Morello. <coughs> yes, and I, and I, I honestly don't know why I, why I didn't why I didn't do it. Like in hindsight, it's it's. I I think I uh, watching me right now would have also put the Morello in the IE. But now uh, it's like now it's better, but it wasn't yeah. better on four one. You're making the jeweled gauntlet here for for Kane, hundred percent of the time. Yeah, and I think I'm I'm going to do it. I think I'm just uh, thinking about it way too long. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just a tiny bit of damage, but not not big of a deal. Holy crap! Yeah, that's super strong. Uh, now you want, uh, 
you kind of want the Zeke's on the on the Janna, and you kind of want Ionic Spark on Kane. I hope you realize that. <coughs> agree? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. But I, I don't know okay. when. Why uh, the fuck are you still rolling? Can you please tell me why the fuck you're still rolling, man? Because I was uh, still losing, and I thought I wanted like uh, I wanted to stabilize, so at least I'm not losing. Look at your board. What do you want to upgrade? Everything. <laughs> Ideally, I would want to upgrade everything. <laughs> no, no, but like you want to upgrade Warwick, you want to upgrade Morgana, you want to upgrade um, Kane. Yes. You but, put all of them better at eight. Yes. Yeah. And you also but, want to put in like, a, I don't know, maybe a Shen, maybe something like leveling up is always better here. Yeah. So, but my question here would be then. Um, do I do I econ a little bit more to the level, or do I just push level eight? Or at, at what point do I level here? Five one. If you stop fucking okay. rolling, you can easily get to eight on five one. Okay. I don't think I'm stopping. Uh, I okay, then then roll down to like then roll down to hit. It's like you either yeah. roll to hit or you level up, but you don't roll just a little bit. Nice, nice. I like this. I like this. No, 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 not not that that Jana. Jenna, please, please. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This way you're not buffing your cane, though. Yeah. It's these minor things. It's like you lose the round by such a small margin. Yes. And I can I can exactly see the, the little margin that it is. It's it's just the little margin that you use it by. <laughs> Like, you just lost because Kane did not have Zeke's. Yes. And he didn't have, uh, he did not have Onyx Spark either. Like, why do you have Jax there? Right? Because uh, I, I, I thought, like, I already have a pretty weak front line. And if I would drop the Jax, I would have... But like, there, were, there was definitely the... something in the shop you could have used. Uh, it's tier here. 100% tier. Yeah. Yes, your front line is shit, but... Putting that on the cane is, it makes him so much stronger. Because mm. he sh he shreds resistances and then he ultis, which means he would kill stuff. Yeah. Like, look how much so gold you have, right? This is like just econ for two two rounds, and love. What the fuck is this? <laughs> What? <laughs> Why the fuck do you split your items like that? Okay, you have three support items, so you can only make one carry. Right? You see that you have three support items. Yeah. Do, like, how many items do you get total? Do you know that? Uh, like, oh. is it 12? Tw yeah. Yeah, 12 components, six items. Uh, you, like... Uh, Talon does absolutely nothing. You should focus on Kane. Yeah. Again, if Kane had the buff rather than Talon, and if Kane had all the buffs like uh, Zeke's and Double Chalice, okay, you wouldn't win here because it's two star Lee Sin, but like, you could probably kill more. But do you see that you're leveling up now? And I told you like rolling like like shit on four one and four two was pointless, right? Yeah. So now you're gonna level, but like. You could have saved, I don't know, what that was, six. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. This is... Okay, why the fuck are you doing this on 4-6 on, uh, before, the, before the creep round? Oh, for fuck's... Oh, okay, this is GG. This is complete... Oh, fuck yeah, me. <laughs> okay, you, you could have had 50 gold. What the fuck is this? You had 50 gold. Yeah, I, I was... I was thinking that I'm already pretty low and I want to save HP as much as possible. So I Okay, so so you're guaranteeing you're guaranteeing eighth now. You could have you still could have gotten top four, but now you're guaranteeing at like okay, yeah. you're guaranteeing this guaranteed you're not getting better than sixth. Yeah. That that and play. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you that that play, if you're in a master lobby, guaranteed you bought 
bought bought eight, like bought six, seven, eight. Yeah. If you <laughs> if you were disciplined, because you're still gonna lose. If you were disciplined, you could have had fifty gold. Yeah. Because this way you just fucking lose, and yeah. you got like you made yourself a lot weaker. That's yeah. never the play. You never want to level up to get weaker. Yeah. Yeah. But that that's some, something I'm I'm like really struggling with, like transitioning, especially if I'm not in a good spot. But you were in a great spot. You hit Kane so early, and you had double Chava Zeke's. Just put that shit on Kane, like not on him, yeah. but like next to him. <laughs> so now instead of getting five interest, you're getting zero. Okay, one. <laughs> And like, yes, you bought the Kenny because you were desperate, but like, what the fuck is the, the Kenny going to do? Right? Yeah. Perfect. That should have been, that should have been on 4-2. Yeah. The Zeke's needs to be on Kane as well. I don't know why you're playing Talon. Talon is not a unit. <laughs> like Talon no longer exists. Maybe stage three. But otherwise, Talon is not a unit. Oh, shit. Look at this. So we have RFC for Kane. So he's going to, like, smurf on the back line. So you you actually would put uh, RFC on Kane? Doesn't he it work? fucking smurfs with RFC. He spins, like, and he just, like, runs around the whole board. Ah, okay. I did not know that. Because I thought like maybe it like uh, bucks out if we put RFC in him because no he he spins from like the left corner all the way to the right corner ah okay. so he never stops right. spinning nice okay I didn't know that so you okay so you made a shitty play here okay but if you weren't aware of it that that's fine if you weren't aware of it that's fine yeah I think there are, there are no more like good plays okay why yeah, do you still have the fucking right. Kenny what is the Kenny doing there man. Sell the Kenny. Kill the Kenny, you bastards. Kill him. <laughs> you leveled up to eight, correct? Yes. So that you can find a forecast chosen. Yes. And you, like, yes, you picked up the Kenny because you were desperate. That's fine. I like that. But you have to get rid of him. Yeah. Look at that Kane Smurf. Look at him Smurf. Holy crap, you killed someone. Wow. Well, that guy <laughs> must have been good. having an even a shitter game than you. Congrats, man. Okay. I really, uh, Morgana too. Cool. Sure. And just put the cane. Oh, 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 for oh! <laughs> <laughs> No, put the kindred next. Kindred next to, to the Zeeks. The Zeeks. Oh, yeah, it did, I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's starting to look like a comp, kind of. And why do you still have fucking 20 gold? Okay, just pause because I'm getting all tilted. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, um, leveling to 8 on 4-7 is completely stupid. Please don't do that ever. Unless you're going to okay. die. You still had like 30 HP. Yeah. Yeah. And now... You shouldn't be fucking chilling on 20 gold. You need yeah. to roll down for 2-star Warwick. You need to roll down for maybe a Kane. Maybe a Yone, yeah. maybe a, a Shen. Like, you can't just keep 20 gold. Like, you should roll down to zero on 5-1. Or not zero. Roll down to, like, hit something. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't see you, like, playing with urgency. Like, you should yes. be saying to, your to yourself in your head, or even out loud, holy fuck, I might die. Holy fuck, I might die. I, I don't want to die. And, it's, yeah. and you're saying, like, I, I okay, I should econ to 20 gold and, like, just chill. Like, no, it's, it's, now is not the time to econ. Yes. Yeah. 
So I think I'm going to I sell the cannon next next great turn. great. And I wanted to save the gold so I can. Um, but you could have so done that on five one, right? Yeah. Divine Warwick, we'll take it. Ash, nice. Azir, even better. Azir over Lee Sin. Let's go. Azir over. No. Azir over Lee Sin. Why is it Azir over Lee Sin? Because the Azir offers more front line. And because you have five divine. You have five divine, three dazzler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. And why the hell is it Ezreal over Ash? Because the, uh, I thought that the uh, tier one Ezreal is, is, is better than the, than the Ash. Uh, yes, he is. But why isn't he better here? Like in in this fight or yeah this composition. Yeah, because he, he doesn't give me four dazzler, but the ash will give me three hunter. Okay, and why is that important right now? Because my uh, it, it would increase damage a lot, I think. Okay. Uh, what well. I'm <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, um, what I'm trying to get, you have two items on Warwick, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, you want to make Warwick stronger. Yeah. Yeah. So, like that. That's the the thought process I want you to think about, right? Yeah. It would make Warwick stronger. And what happens if Warwick is stronger and he gets kills? Yeah. The hunters and the divine units it buffs everything apart from yeah. organa and and kane it buffs like your yeah. whole board yeah so that's why like ezreal is better than ash 100 percent agree but in this case another hunter is better than ezreal okay yeah and i like that you put the chalices and the tier on the morgana as i wanted you to do on what is that stage three two remember yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like you, you, you got to, you kind of got. I guess it's the last fight, right? But maybe I'll be surprised. But uh, yeah, you can play it. But like you, you got to where I wanted you to get to. Like, but it took you a bit longer than it should have. Yeah. Holy crap! Nice. Yeah. Okay. This guy. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. He's saving gold for the next game. Yeah. He has yeah. Uh, like 30 or 40 gold in his bench and he has 50 gold in the bank. So I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Runans is better than QSS. Is it? Yes. Why is it because, better? Like the last few games I was just struggling quite hard with, uh, with lots of CC, especially in the late game. When, when playing like uh, Warwick. But why do you not need QSS on this Warwick? Because he's in the back line already. Because he has RFC. Yeah. RFC is a substitute for QSS. Okay. Like you can't have RFC and QSS because then you have no damage. Yeah. You can, you can try to go six divine, I guess. Why not? Jax is okay for frontline. Like, Ezreal does nothing for you here. Ezreal does absolutely nothing. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no! Oh, fuck. You sold the blue cane for what? Who gets these items? No, no. I, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I think this is my last round. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely your last round. This is definitely your last round. Because you just sold your carry. No, it, it, it is not. <laughs> Holy crap. But <laughs> You just got so much weaker. Why don't you just sell the fucking Ezreal? Why would you sell a blue cane? Uh, a red cane? And why are you at 28 gold?
You know you're one. You're one. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> it doesn't help. The luck doesn't help at this point. <laughs> That's fine. No, no. So I'm thinking about the decisions, but I'm still making the wrong decisions in the end. But it's like you completely griefed yourself. Like that cane was so good. Like you cannot sell the cane there, man. Yeah. Oh, man. So there was a bunch of mistakes there. Yes. And that's why I, that's why I thought the VOD was uh, pretty suited. <laughs> uh, but, like, did you... Have you looked at the VOD yourself earlier? Or, like, yeah? No, no. It, I, I, just, um, I, as, uh, I told you before, I, I didn't have any VODs ready, and I just okay. recorded yeah. it. So, yeah, we can do a live game, another VOD. What do you want to do now? Or... Recap this, and we're done. What, what, whatever we have time for. Yeah, I would, I would, uh, um, I would uh, cap it like this, and uh, yeah. Okay, so before we do that, Michael, please tell me what you learned before we end the end the session. A lot. <laughs> like there's there was a lot of information right now, but uh, like the key three um, key things, at least three. If you can give me five, I'll be happy. But three is the minimum. So let me let me go through it again. So in the beginning, I should prioritize like one cost and pairs more than silly three three costs. <laughs> yes, correct. That's one thing. I have to think about my positioning more, and uh, I have to think more about the interactions of the units. Yep. And that that was pretty interesting. And um, like the the best way to think about it is. How do you want the fight to unfold? Yes. Yeah, like how do you want the fight to unfold? And how can you influence it like or influence it in your favor? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, then there was like a, a lot of things. Um, like with uh, the rolling down on, on four when I actually should have just leveled. Yeah, because and, and, like you rolled a like... The biggest thing is, you make a decision and then you stick with it. Yeah, and then this game I was like, I was pretty all over the place. Like, uh, do I level right now? Do I roll down? I'm not sure what I should do. And that's, I think that's... That's the like worst. The, that's the thing that happens to me quite often. If I'm like, if I don't get a carry at level 7 or stuff like that, I'm like, oh, what do I do now? Do I level? And, I, and then I'm starting to panic a little bit and doing lots of stuff but not the right like stuff like your options are roll down on 7 fuck it roll down on 7 or level the 8 yes but not like roll 20 gold not really get anything and then go to 8 later yeah like <laughs> you should roll for like for something concrete like okay i'm going to roll until i find uh, a two star kindred for example or like yeah. you found Kane, like that's like okay, I found Kane. That means I stop rolling because Kane can carry me until eight easily. Yes. Yeah. So it's like as soon as you found the Kane, you stop rolling. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of like knowing these things. Like I'm looking for a carry. I found a carry. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. 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 So these are like. Uh the main three things but what there's the? a lot of a lot of i have to go back and watch it again because yeah, of course. there was like lots of information and i think lots of useful stuff definitely i'm, I'm happy to hear that <laughs> so thank you for stopping by take care michael yeah, thank, thank you thank you for uh for doing this <laughs> you're welcome bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.